Hey guys, today we're going to be working on our art portfolios and the portfolio is what we're going to be keeping our artwork in and you can make it out of a box. It could be a cereal box, an empty cereal box, empty cheese it box, uh, a waffle box, just make sure that it's empty. And what you're going to need is maybe about three or four sheets of paper. Decide on what color you want your portfolio to be. Uh, I chose red. This is Chase here. He chose yellow for his portfolio. And you're going to start with glue. So Elmer's glue is the best glue. It's strong. It works really well on holding things together. Very first step that you're going to do is glue what I call the X box. The X box is a box. Twist the cap. Don't say anything. And you're going to put glue on and you're going to put it in a square. I call this the X box because we made a box and then we put an X in it. You have your X there, Chase? It's coming. All right, not too much. Don't use too much glue, just enough to outline the outside edges so they stay, and then the box in the middle. And not too much, Chase, because a dab will do you is all you need. And when you're putting it on the box, the best way to put it on the box, I'll take the dry sheet here, is this way from the bottom of the box, not this way. This way, the box, the paper, it just doesn't stay as well because of the direction. So turn your paper this way and you're going to cover it. So depending on the size of your box, you may need uh, one or two. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to cover up the box just like so. And we're going to smooth it down and you can lay it on the table, Chase. It's okay. And then you want the bottom of the paper. Look at the bottom here bottom of the paper to be at the bottom of the box and just smooth it out. Repeat that step twice. So we're going to make our X box again. Chase's box is a little bit smaller than mine. So his box, he might only need two pieces of paper and just a thin layer is all you need. So there's my X box and now I'm going to cover the back side. So I'm going to turn my box over. And the Fruit Loops was fun because we had some fun things in here. There's an obstacle and there's some things inside here. Uh, and it says, one, it says, who got this? And hue is color. So we're going to be learning about hue when we look at the le letter alphabet H. Um, and then there's things inside here that are fun for the cereal box that relate to color and marshmallows and all of that. So we're going to take this X box. We're going to cover up, drop it to the bottom of the box and same direction. You don't have to cover, don't worry about that. Just let it show, because that's gonna be the bottom of your box, um, unless you wanna cut the size to make it fit. It just works a little bit easier going that way and that way, okay? Next step, I'm gonna cover one more of the back. So I chose three pieces of paper. Chase's box is a little bit smaller. He chose two. So I'm going to do my X box and I'm going to cover the back just like so. How's it going over there, Chase? I need a little more glue. Okay. And you may want to cut the tabs off right here. The tabs at the bottom? The tabs on the cheese it. Oh. Okay. What I decided to do for my box here is I'm going to cut a little opening right at the top here where the Fruit Loops are. Um, younger students, if you have uh, an adult that can do the cutting for you, that would be fantastic. And I'm just going to cut to my red paper. If you have trouble cutting the cardboard, you may need an adult to help you with this step. And it's just cutting it out to give an opening. And then I'm going to put a colored sheet of paper on the back side. So we take that off. And I'm going to cut this little piece off here. And this part here. So if you have some extra tabs. Yep. If you have some extra tabs, just cut them off. I hope everybody had a great summer. Uh, Chase is going into fifth grade here, so he is excited about school and learning, and I'm gonna be teaching all my lessons at school this year. So I will be at Jennifer Elementary, 
Okay, but some of these pre-recorded lessons that I do, um, I will be doing some of them in my home or in my classroom. So this is a pre-recorded video to demonstrate to my classes how to create a portfolio. So this piece of paper, I didn't want it to be brown, so I chose black, and I'm gonna take the paper, and I'm just gonna kinda slide it in the back, and depending on the size, of your box it might fit perfect and once it's in there you can kind of glue it where it needs to be so i'll put a little bit of glue and then chase looks like he has a smaller box so it looks like he could probably just fold his yellow over mm -hmm. or you can draw it you want to draw it out first no, i'm good Okay, now when you go to decorate your boxes, these are your art portfolios. What you can be keeping in here, um, you can keep your glue bottles in here, you can keep your scissors. Uh, there's materials that uh, if you have them, they are great. Index cards, and I can put these in a Ziploc baggie. These are going to be great for when we work on uh, techniques and skills and we practice different things or if we use an art word that we need and we keep it in there just to store it for the school year um, and for storing it in our uh, homes. And we're going to take some time to decorate the boxes as well. So when we decorate the box, what you can do is you can find things around your house on a box, in a cereal uh, a box. Um, I found this in my classroom and it was fun and colorful and I thought, well, I could put that. Chase found a Pokemon card that he wanted to put on the front of his box and he's going to decorate with his Pokemon. Who's that character you have, Chase? What's his name? Do you know what his name is? No. Manectric? And he's going to put on the front of his box. And then you also want to make sure that you uh, oops, let it dry. That wasn't dry. So I'm going to lay it flat to let it dry. And that way when I come back to use it, it is all set. So you might want to give it about, how long you think it'll take to dry, Chase? Two minutes. Two minutes, maybe. So depending on how much glue you use, if you use a lot of glue. Charlie, give me Charlie. You want to get in our video? Huh? You come say hi? You come say hi? Our doggie here, Charlie Bear. She loves art. So you can take some time to decorate it and put your name on it, of course. And uh, I'm going to use some markers to finish decorating my box. And uh, I look forward. Do you want to hold yours up, Chase, real quick? You want to hold it up and let him see it? I'm not done. But... So he's still working on his box. And again, the sizes can be uh, different sizes. Oh, we could, we could put a piece of paper in here. Blue would look good or red. Yeah, so good. they could be big. They could be small. That is up to you. Um, you pick the box that you decide. And boys and girls, as always, have fun with your art project. Uh, and then we're going to keep some exciting art things in here throughout the year. You can put your markers in there, your art materials, as well as your artwork we produce this year. I look forward to uh, seeing you guys soon, and thank you for our time. Bye-bye.